first off, you last week mulligan because you had a hurt back. Yes, I was. There was like a day that I was not walking. A two day, almost day three, day almost day three. Day and a half that I wasn't. You were fairly and useless I was out for three for days. Coffee. So that's why there's really no vlog last week because I'm just a great caretaker and I worked. He was diligently nursing. The reason the camera was turned on this morning. And the only reason I'm standing up is because <laughs> I'm demonstrating how yeah. last night I went outside. I was asleep. Teddy was asleep at seven. I was outside taking the trash to the dumpster and I opened the lid on the left side and it's full. So I open the lid on the right side and as I open it, it gets lifted up out of like, and I'm pushing because you know, you do the pussy food. As I'm lifting my hand, it lifts out of my hand in this big black mess that brushes against my arm as I'm tossing the trash in, goes out, and then I hear this. <sighs> But no vocals. No, there was no like <laughs> roar or like ah. <laughs> I heard something like hit the ground and when it hits like, the ground. <gasps> a raccoon can make a sound when it hits the ground. This raccoon should probably try out for the varsity football team. I called you one day and told you how big of a raccoon I saw in there and you called me a city boy. It lifted it I was no longer holding it right. out of my hands and the dumpster's already here. We're like, making progress in the home. Shit. Very slowly, but slowly. This is my big achievement. I cleaned off the island. The island. A gift catalog we don't need. Computer that's getting traded for a new computer that shipped finally. <laughs> Clean counter. Good job, Bill. We just need a spice rack. And we could probably get rid of this coin bank. Gatorade. The These the masks right that don't. We got plants. I'm surprised you brought that. Soda stream. What am I supposed to do with the soda stream? I thought you were going to sell it. There's a lot of jackets. We'll talk about this later. I'm a good shopping partner. No, you're not. We're donating that TV. These are all the mood mats that drop. This weekend. Next big mission is we're gonna get rid of this. I told you that. I was like, there's no way you're gonna keep this. You're like, it makes a hallway. I was like, okay. Well, no, I want to get one of those cubby things. You're but crazy. I like the hallway idea. No, you don't. I do. I think it, it makes fucks space up the space look bigger. No, it doesn't. Why would putting something in the middle of a room ever make a room look bigger? Nothing there would make the room look bigger. This chair gone and nothing there would make the room look bigger. There's no debating this. You can debate this all you okay, want. Okay, well, here's You're going to lose, and it's going to be on YouTube. <laughs> We're going to take these challenges public. A lot of these challenges get fought in private. We're taking them to the front line. I want my victories. Can like, I take... Oh, let's have the 70s records chest. You want to put a Doors record in there, too? Like, should we put some mothballs in there for... Maybe that's how I cope with the fact that I have nowhere to put that thing. Be able to fit it in storage. It works. You're so crazy. You haven't been to storage. I'm very observant. So this could fit in storage. You just have to believe, Alex. That's why you're you just have to believe. I would love to get rid of these things too. If your dear mother, mother, your mother, not mother, your father. My dad your, agreed to let my your, mother yes. let us stay here. We have here. to clarify this. This was a controversial issue. Because you forgot your, to mention. I forgot that to mother. mention that. Watch the vlog. She was devastated. The reason I forgot to mention is because the only person I've ever hung out with here is your dad. I understand why, but I'm just saying, just always associate the condo with your dad. Pictures on the wall that are signed to Ron. That's, I think I even said, Alex's mom has all these crazy decorations. I gave her her props where they do. Oh, can we feature my cousin's art too? That like, really makes sense here. Yeah, I like it. I love that thing. You hate wind chimes. No room for a bear. Another day in Frisco at the shop. Just finished up a rib panel. I'm forcing myself to use the Sony ZV-1 to record. So it's a kind of a mellow day in Frisco. We're getting ready for the snow season to pop off. So uh, it's a little mellow out here, but so wonderful. It's another morning. I've been up since five. It's so hard to get used to this new camera. The delivery driver's gonna have a good time. We have uh, 10 boxes showing up today. That should be interesting. Bear heads have started delivering in Vegas. So I got Ernie picking up the bear heads. We're trying to figure out what we're gonna do. He might bring them out here. I might go get them. They might ship from Vegas. We don't really know yet. Trying to work that out. Snowboard gets delivered today. Uh, my new computer, I ordered a new MacBook because I fucking hate this one. Everybody knows that you got bought this MacBook on the vlog and I've pretty much, I think I've disliked it since. And I bought a fuckload of jackets. 
All right, I tweeted out that I needed the Columbia discount because there's a Columbia, um, what do you call it? Outlet up here, which we went to the other day and I bought a jacket because I can't stop myself. I don't need jackets. But and here's the funny thing. It snowed today and I was like, oh, maybe I should go ride. And I was like, nah, it's too cold. I just bought like three jackets. This is pre discount, but it was still pretty cheap. It was like 150 bucks. It's down and it has this, that NASA shit I love. Orange jacket, which is so fire. I got like a couple more colors of that coming. That's how this all happened. That's how it all starts. I got the orange cold readies and the blue. I don't foresee myself buying any more. I did put a bid in on StockX for the human made ones, but uh, people on StockX still like to play dumb games. I ain't paying. Those shits went on like super sale. Yeah, that's the morning. Pretty aggressive day. I gotta go to the shop. I'm sure it will actually be busy because people start coming in town about Wednesday. All right, I'm going to the shop. Yep, I gotta tell everybody about how happy you are. Hey, Boo, how you feeling about how you feeling about the drop showing up today? Has it been has it been pleasant? <laughs> we just got this empty. <laughs> when the drops live, order a shirt, or Alex might make me move out. Are you happy? It's uh, a little late. The drop is here, um, which is not where we want it to be. We're trying to find an office before this happens. Oh my God. So now the whole house is full. Not the most chill, you know, it's, uh, there's really nothing I can do, but try to get this stuff out and she's doing it. I was at the shop all day uh, and she was here folding all day. Yeah, and I just tattooed like, up here a lot of people come up here and they get little souvenir tattoos. That's why this is pretty manageable. I'm not every day doing huge, custom, fully drawn out tattoos. A lot of days it's just little stuff. It's great, it's great money, it's quick, it, people are happy, uh, I can do it. That's why I don't film at the shop as much. A lot of the stuff I'm doing is just like real simple. Also the dudes at the shop aren't used to being filmed, so they have to kind of have to ease them into the vlog. They have no idea what this even is. Thinking about renting an Airbnb just to take the drop to it. <sighs> Such bad timing for this to show up. I mean, I'm stoked. This is my life. It's just all sort of colliding together at once. <laughs> it's a little crazy, you know? I like to take things in stride. I like the stoic approach. More of a solution guy, but um, yeah, we'll see what the solutions are. My MacBook gets here today. My other jackets. I'll show you the finesse that I pulled on this orange jacket. And that's about it. I gotta go shovel because it snowed. I wanted to go shred this morning, but I really don't have time. How you doing? <laughs> you gonna leave me? I have nowhere to go. Is this, well, are you gonna make me leave? <laughs> no. I think it should be noted of this drop. Alex was gonna leave me yesterday over this. Yeah. Make sure you buy a shirt because I almost got broke up with over this. I was not going to leave you. No. Maybe going to spontaneously combust. Mm. Well, I'm gonna work. Have fun. I'm gonna Hopefully. stay here and listen to Mama Cat. Hopefully not go pick up my new computer. And my socks. New socks. New snowboard is here. We are leaving the shop. I tattooed all day. I did four mountains. I meant to film them, I forgot. Four, four mountains today. We're headed home. We're gonna try and get some food. It's been snowing all day. See it out here. I went to go pick up my laptop and my new jacket and the motherfucking post office is closed. Today's Veterans Day. Shout out to the veterans. Tomorrow. Ugh. Yeesh. It's fucking winter, boy. Alex. I spent the day organizing the drop, folding, and then the veteran had driving in the snow. Oh, fuck. What happened? You wrecked your car? Wreck it, but I ran into a fucking concrete median. It's fucking slippery. Didn't even hit it that fast, but I hit it going downhill and it went thunk. And now my fucking line went all fucked up. My little hybrid is not really made for the snow. It's rough, you know, being this journey called life, but you have to improvise. And let me tell you about improvisation. There is no dumpling within a hundred fucking miles of here. That's not true. There's some dumplings down in Denver. Anyway, um, there's none up here. So I mail ordered Shao and Bao. That's what we're doing. Tomorrow, did you get a truck for tomorrow? No, because I'm afraid. What are you afraid of? The snow? I can't drive my car in this fucking snow. 
You're a fucking amateur. I have to do everything now. Do you think it's still snowing tomorrow? It'll probably be sunny tomorrow. All right, so we gotta take all the friends and family orders to the post office. We got move mats dropping at 10. So we got a lot to do this morning. And then lookbook going back up. And then finally the public drop. And this whole week has been nothing but tattooing mountains, baby. I, I, I'm gonna film next week all the mountains I tattoo, but I tattoo at least 14, 15 mountains. Last uh, four days. Shout out to Columbia. So I got this jacket, bought it full price, tweeted, and even got a Columbia discount. Yes, uh, I got on the friends and family list. So now I get 30% off. Shout out to the plug. So I had to order another one of these jackets at discount so I could return it and get the difference because it was like a hundred and some bucks. And then I ordered that yellow jacket, which is a completely different cut. There's logos all over it that I don't like. That's going back. And then a black jacket just like this because these are the shit with the gold sequins. Look, dog, gold sequins. Pop out the gold chain bro he's just fucking shining this orange fire red Whew, love it love it it's my new color i got orange everything let's go to the shop make sure we got the keys before we roll up there I'm gonna grab a trash bag for this all these orders in the car and uh take them to the post office so that's the plan right now Got it all bagged up. And now I'm early to the post office, so I'm just gonna sit here for like 50. Yeah, this week, been pretty busy. Um, Alex heard her back last week, wrecked her car-ish. This week, she's really been packing. Like this, this drop showing up during all this was pretty, I mean, we're lucky, or I'm lucky, that she's still talking to me, because she was not happy. Um, as no one would be, because it's a lot of stuff in your house, but you know, we're getting through it. In life, life's all about solutions. You gotta approach problems with positive mental attitude and then come up with solutions. So that's what we've done, that's what we're doing. Getting it all situated. Whew, and the only other thing I've realized, I realized that I love Columbia. I have like 12 Columbia jackets now. Throughout the entire career of hype consumerism, whatever you wanna call it. I mean, I just call it being plugged up, but people call it hype, I was plugged up. I don't people with different man it's the only thing that lasts the kith columbia collab pants i wear almost every day those kith columbia anoraks i wear almost every day so at the common denominator all my kith stuff tears apart like i ain't got a single kith item that have a rip in it or a tear or something because it's so fucking heavy but the columbia stuff has always been the best so i'm just i think i'm just columbia god now because i love it i love outwear <laughs> i like bundling i like being cozy i like columbia i like discount oh so, but yeah i like reflected i was like man of all the shit I bought the Columbia stuff still staying strong you know so I got more jackets but no more I'm done I got the computer snowboard uh, Christmas is over yesterday was Christmas for me yeah now we're just it's back to work you know every day but the tattoo shops really busy the drops are coming in finally like supply chains are just so fucked it's impossible for me to just do clothing only because I'm most of the time I'm waiting to hear back. Uh, Dirty Earn got the bear heads. They were on a cargo ship for three months. We've gotten five out of the seven boxes delivered. Dirty Earn's delivering those. We're trying our best to bring the podcast back. We're either going to do it remotely or I'm going to fly my ass to Vegas and we're going to do it there. Uh, Earn is going to be here at Christmas, so we're going to do a podcast then. And then we're going to get an update on whether or not Earn's moving back up here in like June or July. So we got things going on. We're not abandoning you guys. Um, it's just a lot in the fire. There's a lot happening and we're just trying to keep everything going. I got all kinds of business shit going on, man. Like, and still trying to do more drops, make art, tattoo people, run the business, you know, deal with the collapsing world, all these things all at the same time, just like you. Appreciate the patience. No one's really bothered me because 
you guys are cool. But that's it, the drop is out for, the, for friends and family coming next week. The drop will be up on allitsteady.com. I don't know if we'll get another drop before Christmas the way things are going. So if you want a Christmas present for somebody, now might be the time and then maybe you get an extra one before December. But I'm not holding my breath because shit right now is fucked, super fucked. All right, post office, that killed 10, five minutes. We got 10 more minutes, we can take all the stuff in. Because another constant is the sweet. We have just come to the mountain line. It's, it's our day third three time. in a row. Yeah, day, day three in a row mountain line. But it's mostly because our kitchen is kind of hard to get into. It's not that I'm useful. Not mad. And we don't want all the apparel to smell like cooked bacon. True. And eggs. Chicken fried steak. Pizza? Yep. I'm gonna go outside. Okay. I'm gonna go to the dumpster. Oh, I'm gonna try to find the bear. I'm gonna check and see. Ooh, got these Seth Fowler socks. They're actually pretty sick. I heard there's a collab coming. Ultra Boost out of the way. Oh, let's go check out this bear. All right, here we go. Oh. Don't think we're gonna see anything. No bear tonight. 